G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, Bonefish in Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Big boat. Uh, oh, this is not going to work out. Oh, that's what can happen <laughs> when it goes in a hurry. It can wrap around here or the, the reel. And when it does happen, try and run with it to give yourself a little bit of breathing space to untangle it with a little bit of slack line. Because once they have that straight pull, everything just breaks. Chase him up a bit. If we, the shorter the line, the better. So you can steer him around a bit more rather than if they get too far uh, away from you. They have full control. So a shorter line can help to uh, direct the traffic a little bit easier. With all the trevally, they just go side on. It's like. Uh, wind it in a rubbish tin lid very hard at times. They're all just uh, great fish. This is a, a little giant trevally and uh, very aggressive. We say it a bit but these can grow to enormous sizes, you know, like 100 pounders and things like that. But still a lovely fish. Just put that hold of in there. That's a lovely GT uh, and they do just get a lot bigger than that. They've got some real serious munchers in there too. They're quite an aggressive. They're the real bulldog of the uh, the ocean, and they pick on all the little kids. Beautiful. So giant trevally. Great fun. Great fun. Fantastic. So that's uh, quite a, quite a lot of different species you can get in here. So not always just about the bonefish, there's everything else here that you can target. Christmas Island's just got everything. Second, it's always a bit of a panic until all that line gets to there because otherwise it always hooks on that or around that. It's always hooked up, but uh, yeah, I don't think he even needs knows he's, uh, he's hooked yet. No, he's still feeding. He's still feeding. Swimming around with the school. This is milk fishing. This is not bad, eh? Yeah. This is very good. Yeah. Very good. It's literally my first time at, at targeting milk fish, and uh, it's all pretty exciting, I've got to say, because they're, they're up feeding on the surface, and that's what gets a lot of like fly fishermen excited. You know, normally for trout when they are taking off the surface. Uh, and that's how these feed. So you can see them, their backs out of the water, like you can imagine a big rainbow taking mayflies, and they uh, are just sucking the, the scum off the surface virtually. So it's all pretty exciting watching these fish feed and putting your fly down. You're expecting a hit all the time. So, and that's, well, for me in particular, but I think as a fly fisherman, that's what you, you really enjoy when you, you're always expecting to get hit and that keeps the excitement level the enthusiasm up and then when they hit it and you've got something as strong and powerful as that that makes it all worthwhile just like the last one he didn't realize he was actually hooked properly and have a big run until 10 minutes into the fight 
just that power and you can feel that thud, thud, thud on the rod. As you know, you can just imagine his tail and he's kicking away and when that backing starts disappearing. There's a bit of work to get it back too. Fly line back on the reel, which is good. Doesn't mean it's nearly over, it just means it's a little bit closer. There he is. last lunge just when you think it's nearly over they've still got that power left in them power. it's just a matter of when he is going to go you can keep a little bit of pressure on but if, you, if he is going to go you just got to take that hand off that reel and let it do its job because you're paying an awful lot of money for a good reel because they're they're made really well and they do exactly as they're made for and that is have a precise drag especially when you need it that's when they are close to the boat Size is not everything. Yeah. But it, uh, it's good when it is big. Yeah, yeah. Focus on that. But just essentially would look like a little bit of uh, weed or scum. And that's what does the trick. You know, so uh, for vegetarians, that's the perfect fly. Nice little uh, Christmas Island milkfish. He's probably about 15, 17 pound. You had to, there's a little bit of guessing involved. You always go up with, with fishermen. But uh, we'll get him back in and just spear him back in and. Uh, let him keep doing it, but he does. And there you go. So that's uh, that's a Christmas Island milkfish. And it's hard work after catching a couple of those. You've got to get up a little bit early, which I don't, I'm not a big fan of, but it's worthwhile when you can see these fish feeding just on the surface and you hook them up and just that power that they've got in them. They're just an incredible fish to target. And Christmas Island's got oodles of them and it's only we've really only just started waking up to, to them as a, as a sports fish and the beauty of it you get up early you do that for a bit and then they'll go down as all their food goes down with it as well and we can head into the um, lagoon in there and target bonefish, trevally, there's a trigger fish, there's everything in there as well or you can keep going along here and you've got tuna or sailfish, marlin, you've got the whole works here and uh, you look at it here we're relatively sheltered pretty calm so it's, a, it's an awesome place to come and fish because there's just so many opportunities so uh, 